Let me just say, I can't even believe I'm coming here telling y'all this motherfucking shit. Let me start off the video like that, okay? I can't even believe I'm coming here telling y'all this shit. But, bitch, okay, I had a couple of people who were like, you know what? You need to tell us more stories, more stories. And I'm blaming y'all motherfuckers for this shit, okay? Because, you know, I'm one of those types of people that I can't just make up some shit off the top of my dome where, you know, how you get some people that can come on here and just make up shit off the top of their dome and they can just go on and on and on and on and on, you know, just with fictional shit. I actually have to come on here and tell y'all when I've got a funny story or whatever or some shit that actually happens to me. But bitch, but bitch, hold on. But bitch, hold on. Y'all know. Okay, I just made a video telling y'all how all happy I was and shit because I lost a couple of pounds and all that all that shit. So, okay, bitch, y'all know I lost four and a half, almost five pounds from um changing my little diet situation, stopping, stop fucking with the sodas and stuff and just drinking my water. So, you know, y'all know I'm sitting around the house today. All I'm doing is watching Netflix and YouTube videos and shit. But, bitch, you know, when I stepped on the scale, I kind of got motivated and shit, bitch. I was like, you know what, I want to go to Ross Dress for less because... The other day with me and Juice Man, and just in case you guys aren't following me on my thrifting channel, um, you probably wouldn't know this, but me and the Juice Man, we went and Ross dressed for less and shit, and he picked up a couple of items to wear on his little trip to Tennessee, and I saw a couple of sundresses in there, because you know, spring is upon us and shit, you know what I'm saying? So today, I was laying in the bed, and I was inspired, because I was sitting there watching all these spring-type hauls and shit, and I'm thinking to myself, okay, bitch. Truck your ass on over to Ross Dress for Less and get you a motivation dress. Because, you know, whenever I'm on a weight loss situation, I like to, um, you know, get me like some, some type of motivational piece. Whether it's a shirt or a dress or a skirt or a pair of pants or whatever, okay? But this particular day, I decided to cut my fat ass over there to Ross Dress for Less and decide to look at those sundresses and shit, you know, so I can kind of get me, you know, try on a couple and, and, and get motivated and shit and have me a motivational piece. But, bitch. But bitch, hold on. But bitch, hold on. I carry my fat ass over and dress for less and I look at the sundresses and shit and I pick out a couple, you know. I'm picking out a couple of things that I want to try on and shit probably, you know. Just, you know how you can try some shit on to where, you know, you can try it on and see how it fits now and then try it on again and maybe a month or two and see how it fits then. See, that's what the point of my whole situation of going over there was for. But um, I'm going to tell you all about this shit in a minute, okay. So I picked out the pieces that I want to pick out. And how many dresses did I have? Was it two or three? I think it was two dresses that I had. Yes, it was two dresses that I had. So I don't know about in your Ross dress for less, but in mind, whenever you walk back to the back where the dressing rooms are, there's a person back there, whether it's a loss prevention person or just a regular person back there that they want to send back there to the dressing room where you have to check your pieces in. And they give you like, it's like a little card that they sit on your door that says, okay, whether you got two or three pieces. If you got three pieces, they put a number three on your door. If you got five pieces, they put a number five on your door. I guess they bigger. Bitch, if you go in here with five pieces, you needs to come out with five pieces, okay? None, none, none of that stealing shit around this camp. So they actually put numbers and shit on your door at, at my Ross. I don't know about it, your Ross. So I carry my fat ass in there with these two dresses or whatever. Because, you know, like I said, I lost my four and a half, almost five pounds. So I'm feeling all sexy and shit, you know? I'm just like, okay, bitch. Okay, let's go in here and see how much weight you can lost. Because my stomach, for real, even though it's been a little over a week, my stomach is, is literally a little bit flatter because... I was drinking so much juice and shit that I guess the sugars and stuff. And plus, I was, bitch, I was eating mashed potato down there every day. Let me just say that right here. Right now, I was eating mashed potatoes down there every day. But my stomach is literally a little bit flatter. Like I said, I lost four and a half, almost five pounds. But a lot of that shit is in my stomach. See, I'm big in my stomach area. That's where I'm big at. A lot of people are like, girl, you don't even look that big. But bitch, my stomach, bitch. Okay, when I take this shit off, bitch. Okay, we'll knock your ass all the way out with all this stomach. Let me just say that. So I'm in the dressing room with my um. My two sundresses or whatever, and I'm trying to shit on. So, I take off this dress because, I, like I said, I, I just got walked back in the motherfucking house. So, I take this off and shit, and I'm looking in the mirror, and I'm like, bitch, damn. You probably lost five pounds, bitch, probably in your finger. You know what I'm saying? That's what I'm, I'm looking in the mirror thinking to myself. You know what I'm saying? Bitch, you probably lost that shit in your finger or something. You know, maybe in your toes. But, bitch, it ain't in your stomach or your body, okay? But I'm just telling the truth. So, I'm standing there and I'm looking in the mirror, disgusted, okay? I'm just going to tell the truth. But I'm still thinking to myself, bitch, you you know, you 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 doing what you need to do in the gym, bitch. You're going to come back up in this motherfucker in a couple of months or whatever. And you're going to look in this mirror. You're going to be like, damn, you know what I'm saying? So, anyway, take off my clothes and I decide to try to slip on these sundresses. So, I slip on the first one. Now, I got the first one 
to uh, 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 a little bit around this area right up in here, you know, a little bit before my booty boobages, and I feel like I, I, I realize, okay, this shit ain't gonna go no further. So I'm like, okay, I ain't finna try to pull this motherfucker on down, cause remember, this bitch is still standing outside the door, you know, checking motherfuckers in, so she's standing outside the door checking folks in or whatever. So. I'm like, okay, let me take this motherfucker off. Okay, let me take this motherfucker off. So I take that one off, and the other one I got a, a size bigger. Now, mind you, they're still, these are not my size, but they're not much smaller than the size that I actually wear. But you know, I, you know, I, different dresses fit a little bit, a little bit different, depends on the type of material. So I'm trying to slide on the other one, and the other one goes on fine. And you know, I got big boobies, I got some big girls. So. It's kind of tight going over my breast or whatever. So I get to pulling it down, pulling it down. And once it goes over my breast, I'm like, okay, because my stomach is, you know, of course, everybody's stomach is a little bit flatter than their breast. So I get to pulling the motherfucker down to where it's over my breast. And when it gets to my stomach, I'm like, okay, I pull it on down, pull it on down. And I'm looking in the mirror and this shit is just holding. I mean, I'm talking about grasping on everything, showing every fat roll I own, okay? Every fat roll I motherfucker own in this camp. Now I'm sitting there like, okay. Bitch, I, I'm like, okay, maybe you need to go and try to find another motivational dress. Because every time I'm looking in the motherfucking mirror, I'm like, bitch, I'm getting mo and mo and mo and mo depressed. This shit ain't making me feel good. Like, okay, bitch, you looking kind of, you know, you done lost your four and a half, almost five pounds, bitch. You know, you, you looking a little bit sexy. You know what I'm saying? I can definitely see where the, you know, the weight loss is in your stomach, bitch. I cannot see where the weight loss was in my stomach in those particular dresses. Let me say that right here, right now. So I'm saying, like, okay, bitch, take this shit off because you just making yourself more depressed. So I go to take the motherfucker off and bitch, this motherfucker is melded, okay, welded to my body, okay, I'm talking about bitch, this shit is welded to my motherfucking body, I'm feeling like the incredible hook in this motherfucker, I'm feeling like bitch, if you take one more breath, okay, bitch, if you take one more breath, you finna bust up out of this motherfucker, so I'm sitting there trying to ease this motherfucker, mind you, the whole time I'm sitting there trying to act like I'm on the phone, because remember, this bitch is outside the motherfucking door, okay? She is outside the motherfucking I ain't saying she listening. Okay. Bitch, I was on the road, but then I don't remember where the fuck I stopped at, but I had a phone call. But like I said, I don't know what this woman is doing outside the door. I don't know if she's listening. I don't know what she's doing, okay? I hear her talking. sound like she's talking to maybe a coworker or something. So I'm thinking to myself, bitch, you need to talk kind of loud because if you bust out of this motherfucker, you don't want this woman to hear you busting out of this motherfucking dress. You feel me? So I'm sitting there trying to talk all loud and shit like I'm on the phone. I'm like, yeah, girl, I'm coming. Because I'm, uh, bitch, I'm trying to get out of this motherfucking dress, okay? I'm talking about... Uh, uh, I felt like I was going to have to call somebody to be like, okay, y'all need to come in this motherfucker with the jaws of life. Because, bitch, this shit feels like it is welded to my body. Like, on some for real type shit, y'all. I mean, I'm talking about, bitch, I was literally up in that motherfucker like, bitch, okay, I don't know what the fuck to do. Because I don't want to pay for the shit. Bitch, what am I going to do with it? Okay? What the fuck am I going to do with it? So, I'm sitting there trying to take this motherfucker off y'all. And then I'm thinking to myself, okay, thick shit. Don't try to take it off over your head. Just try to, you know... Take the scraps off your shoulder and try to just, you know, wiggle it on down your body. Bitch. I'm taking these straps off now. As I'm trying to take the straps off, bitch, it feel like these motherfuckers are about to pop, okay? Because, like, remember, I squeezed in this motherfucker. They, it was kind of hard to get it around the boobages area. It, come, it came on down the stomach, all right, okay? But when it was coming around the boobages area, bitch, it was kind of tight, okay? It was kind of tight. When I got it down to my stomach, it was a little bit looser, but, bitch, it was still welded onto my body. So, I'm sitting there trying to wiggle this motherfucker down my uh, uh, bottom, and, bitch, all of a sudden, I hear something say, boop! Bitch, the back of this dress straight blew the fuck out. I'm talking about boom. I, I, the whole time now, I'm sitting there trying to talk all loud and shit like I'm on the phone. Like, bitch, yeah, bitch. I'm, I'm talking about some straight up ratchet ghetto type of shit. That bitch was probably got started like, who the fuck is this bitch? Is she crazy? Because she probably, when, when I walked in, she didn't see me on no phone, okay? So she probably thought I was in the motherfucker talking to myself. But bitch, little did she know, bitch, I'm trying to talk all loud because I don't need you to hear me busting up out of this motherfucker now i don't know about in your rows but in my rows they got all kind of loss prevention motherfuckers walking around it because i guess people be stealing and shit i don't really know i don't understand i don't know why but they have a whole lot of loss prevention motherfuckers walking up out of here so once that motherfucker said pop i'm talking about literally the back of that motherfucker blew the fuck out okay i'm thinking to myself oh bitch i'm scared i th i know she heard me i know she heard this motherfucker blow the fuck out i know she did so, I'm sitting there putting on my dress and shit. Once I, this motherfucker in the blue, I bitch, I just took it on off then. Because, I mean, shit, what, what the fuck I'm being careful for now? The back then blew out of this motherfucker, okay? The back then blew out of this motherfucker. So, I take that shit on off, put my dress back on, and I came. She was like, everything, um, everything, okay? I'm like, yeah, everything's fine. Bitch, bitch, I'm not even going to tell no lie. If you walking Ross, if you working Ross, bitch, okay, uh, 
I hate to say this shit, but bitch, I put that shit right back on the motherfucker. All they gonna do is when somebody else get it and try to try it on and they see that whole, all they gonna do is take it to people like, okay, y'all need to put this in, um, you know, lost, uh, uh, just, just trash or whatever the hell they put, you know, damaged items. Put it in damage because bitch, I, I, bitch. So them 4.5, I, I don't know, I don't know where they at because I, 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 bitch. I don't know. Bitch. Bitch.